Hey people, um, I'm getting, trying to do a study on the Trinity. Where did it start? Why is it not in the Bible and all this? And, and it, it is so frustrating because of all the errors in the writings. Okay, let's, let's take a, this one for instance. What is the Vatican in the Bible? The Codus Vaticus, the Vati Vatican Bible, that blah, 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 whatever. Designated by Singulum, Singulum, whatever, B or 03 in the Gregory Island numbering. Okay, whatever. I think that's what when they put in the chapters and the, the verses. Is a fourth century Christian manuscript of the Greek Bible containing the majority of the Old Greek Testament and the majority of Greek New Testament. Well, was it all in Greek? No. Okay. And is it the thing says it's Christian okay the Vatican is not Christian it's Catholic and Catholics change the scripture and the Bible says that you cannot change the scripture, which I think is the mark of the beast, changing the word that was brought with the blood sacrifice. Now, I brought up a couple things here. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I, I was looking at Trinity and where'd it come from, and it come from Constantine. Now, they say there is one God, Deuteronomy 6, 4, 5, okay? Of course, I'm going to look at my information, not theirs. Here, O Israel. Okay, that was the land that was being given the word. The Lord, our God, is one Lord. That can mean many things. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And we understand that. Now, God is not a name. God is a title. So is Lord. And there are two different titles. Lord um, serves under somebody, his master. Right? There's a, but Jesus is the king too, once he gets to the Father after the resurrection, okay? <clears throat> Actually, at his birth, he was given a, uh, given a, us a king, okay? My apologies on that one. A birth in the flesh. Okay, now, here, O Israel, that is the Jewish, 12 tribes of Israel. The Lord, our God, is one Lord. Okay? That doesn't mean the three of them are one or the one of them are three. What it means is the Lord, our God, is one Lord. So why do they teach the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost? And these words, which I command thee, this day shall be in thy heart. Okay, which word? And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Okay, so we're going to love God. Why? Well, Jesus is our God in a sense, but Jesus is not the Father because Jesus brings us 
to the Father. And thou shalt teach them diligently, diligently and to thy children. And shalt walk, shalt talk of them when thy, uh, that's why I play these uh, audio Bibles. Um, because, like I say, when I read, I gotta read it four or five times to get a flow. Sitteth in thy house, and when thy walkest by the way, and when thy liest down, and when thy restest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy head, and they shall be as frontlets between thy eyes. Okay. What happened there? Oh, I smoothed it down. Okay. But anyways. What I'm trying to do is show that there is a separation of scripture speaking with Jesus and the Father. The Trinity was forced at the first council of Nicaea. Okay. Um, by Constantine. And you can go on for that. It's, uh, I tried going through all this stuff and there's so much. And they keep on saying Christian, Christian, Christian. And it's not Christian because Christians do not change the word of God. The anti-Christians, the anti-Christ do. And that's the mark of the beast. So why was there wars? Um, I d thought I had the first... Okay, uh, First Council of Nicaea. First Council of Nicaea. The First Council of Nicaea, the first general council in the history of the church, what church? Was convined in the Roman Empire Constantine the Great upon the recommendations of the Sinoid led by Bishop Hosus, whatever, of Corduba in the East, Easteral Tide of 320. Okay, well, what it means is it was done in. 325 after resurrection. I always say 326 because I think that's when it was signed. But the gathering was, I think, 325. Or rather, convinced by the Hoses and supported by Constantine. Okay, so what they're doing is saying that man made the decision on the Trinity, which is why it's not in scripture. And then they manipulate scripture as these people are doing now with the serpent seed doctrine and all these other deceptive things. Okay, there's lots of information here about the first council of Nicaea, which is a Roman, Christ, uh, Roman Catholic, not Christianity. <clears throat> um, you can read it for yourself. I've gone over some of these and uh, tried to pinpoint main information, but you gotta you gotta understand what was going on too, and it, it gets so big. But the thing to know is, Satan has been starting ever since he realized he was gonna. Uh, kicked out of heaven and he couldn't go any further. He was only going to go in reverse. And at that time he made a plan how to get himself back into where he wanted to be. He thought he could deceive 
the father. That's the same thing going on with the serpent seed doctrine. Okay, it is spiritual, not physical, but there is a serpent physical seed. Also, that's when the angels made it with the, uh, with the daughters of men and created the giants. They became a different species. Now, do they have control of that? I do not know. Um, that's something I've been trying to find out. But through the domination of the churches, the Roman Catholic Church, which caused wars and then went in with their people and their health system to save lives after they destroyed them, um, went and taught their doctrine. And if you didn't believe it, you were either cast it out, killed, or whatever. Whatever they choose to do. The dominating class. And that's what they did. They went around and dominated the weakest places, just like they did with the... Uh, the uh, virus and everything else, they hit the weak first. That's what makes their baby steps. And then sooner or later, they start taking normal strides and running with it. Now, the Trinity caused a lot of wars. That's where the, uh, the, the Protestants were made. They uh, wanted to keep the Sabbath and everything else that was written in scripture. But the Roman Catholic Church did not want it. So it created a dark age. Um, there was a lot of things that happened that were unhuman. Um, but this is all connected to Satan, who was casted out of the heavens. Now, what is this UFO thing? Well, this is... I'm not saying there's not UFOs. What I'm saying is the angels that will not be forgiven had things created by the flesh through their demonic powers and, and uh, suggestions like Aleister Crowley and, and people like that, that communicated with the uh, evil ones and got information like uh, Elon Musk is today and Donald Trump and they communicate to these demons and they give them information. And there's a trade somehow. Has anybody done the history of uh, Trump's wife? Where does she come from? So you can see it's all, always these Christian uh, pictures that uh, go against the second commandment that they tried to remove too. So there's so much, so much that happened in, in the Council of Nicaea. Uh, they changed the second commandment. Uh, they removed it, actually, so they can idolize. They worship Mother Mary. Um, they take the thought off Jesus and salvation and the resurrection. And they put it on Mother Earth, Mother Mary. And what they have done there is because procreation was needed for this salvation. They have blasphemed it. And that's why Jesus came as a, with through a virgin mother. So that Satan couldn't blasphemy. The <clears throat> um, sanction that uh, the father made with through Jesus for salvation and it required procreation. Now procreation is not allowed in heaven. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the father or the Jesus said there, do not know that there uh, are, did you not read? There's no uh, given in a marriage in the father's house, you know, in heaven. So why? Because of, I think they're male, female, as in Adam and Eve in the beginning. Adam was made in the image of God, male and female, until the rib was removed so procreation could happen. And that's, this is why the woman is, is 
under the man uh, in a marriage um, because you can only have one to make the decision and the man is, is held responsible for that decision or those decisions of the family. So that's why women's live. Uh, and why I say who put the woe in front of man? Well, who being the World Health Organization as well. So they're doing these little tricks, but I just noticed Godhead there. Uh, Trinity, the doctor, and the three distinct persons are united in one Godhead. Okay, see now that what they're doing is trying to implement their teachings into the Bible by Trinity and Godhead. Godhead's in the Bible. What's a Godhead? Godhead is having the spiritual thought, probably starting off with the scriptures at heart, and then you could have the Godhead. But also the Godhead is uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, what is the Holy Ghost? There's never a name given to the Holy Ghost but they're messengers for the Father and Jesus. So what's going on? What's going on is what Jesus said, do not trust any man. Read the scripture for yourself and let the Holy Ghost tell you. Who's the Holy Ghost? That's the thought process. It's too deep to give to people just at a simple but it's all about the neural transmitters and the way you use them and we're creatures of habit and autopilot and everything. So, um, yeah, it's, it's heavy. And to talk it that way, it will come, but it's, it's people gotta get into it and, and they got to understand what the scriptures say. Now, I got caught up in talking and just giving a mic drop here. But um, what am I doing? Um, there was some things I wanted to bring up but that I obviously did not. What am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I have to do. So what we're going to do is, is, is a series of teachings about the Trinity, which I've done writings about them already. Maybe I'll go through them because actually just do this. Okay, um, beware of the use of the, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees. Uh, Roman Christian is an oxymoron, okay? There's nowhere it says Roman Christianity in scripture. It says the Romans and the Romans killed the Christians, okay? That's what it says. Did Jesus say I go to my father's house and become my father? The Trinity and the first council of Nicaea was the first council in history where the Christian church supposedly the Roman Catholic Church that was intended to address the entire body of believers. Okay, well, we just went through all that. And uh, that's where I've seen it before because I did it before. But anyways, um, it was a very interesting read I put together. And uh, there you go. You can read it. I've just been reading so much today. But there you go. Um, remember that this is what the pastors look like when you ask them about the Trinity. Okay? They get all tied up. And uh, they usually go into belittling you somehow and changing the subject really quick. But they attack you. And that should just let you know. <laughs>